Now I'm going to make the envelope to match the card that we've just made. First card I made, we used the backing paper and used the strip off the edge here. And that left us with this nice piece of backing paper um, with the design in the correct um, landscape position. So I'm going to show you how you just um, make an envelope liner. Now if you place your envelope that you want to use, I tend to move mine across because I, you don't want it to go right up to the edge here. And then just draw with a pencil around the top. And then I'm going to stop at the same point here because I want the design to go down, down the edge here. So I'll just draw in a line just for the sake of this demonstration. So you want to cut this piece out. Again, I like to use the guillotine. And then take your envelope and here you'll find where it matches in nicely and you just want to snip at the bottom here just so you know you've got the length of the um, line correct and trim that away. Place the liner inside and I like to sort of feel where the um, score line of the envelope is. Just ease it and then ease it shut and then open the um, envelope up and then attach your um, double sided tape. And then place it down and then here you have your liner that will match your card. And that just finishes off the design and makes again for just using one topper and one piece of backing paper. I just feel it makes a nice little card for somebody. And then we're gonna just show you how the next part of the um, demonstration is um, to cut out the bookmark envelope um, and, and it shows you the score lines. So just um, score down with a ruler and a fine embossing tool just to get the, the edges, fold it all up. Here I've got one ready and then just put your double sided tape down there. And then here I've taken the bookmark and because I had a piece of the um, backing paper you could actually put this back through the printer as it is or you could um, as I've done here just use double sided tape and stuck it to the um, edge and then I've taken the um, same Promarker pen and just run it across the um, edge of the design and I find because sometimes depending on what paper you're using Promarkers will bleed I've actually held it in certain positions so that it will bleed slightly to give that nice sort of rustic look to your design. And then if you take a um, Japanese screw punch and just take your um, screw punch, punch a hole through and then using your, you can use your um, pointed tweezers, pick up a tassel poke that through and then just loop it back through on itself there you have a nice um, edge to your bookmark and then what I like to do is to place a bookmark in and then just push that to one side and it sits neatly in the, in the edge so here you have your um, card with your um, lined envelope and your bookmark inside just ready to be put inside to make that lovely um, special card for somebody. It's quick and easy 
and um, just think it will give a special touch when somebody opens it. Thanks for looking into the workshop today.